welcome to our final edition of This is Dubois High for the 2015 and 2014 school year. I'm Carrie, and today we will be talking about summer school and murals. But first, let's talk about summer school. Today we have with us Mr. Darren Hack, the assistant principal here at Dubois Area High School. Thank you for coming in, first thank, of all. And thank you for having me. What is summer school? Summer school is a program that we offer uh, to, to students who are in need of credit recovery. Uh, perhaps they didn't do very well on a course and they, they failed that course and then this allows them the opportunity to make up that credit. We do run two programs. We have a ninth grade program where we offer three classes. Uh, they are Algebra 1, Module 1, Earth, Space, Science, and English 9. And we also have a program we run in July for everybody, everybody else, including freshmen as well, uh, where we offer most of the major courses that they can take and they can utilize that to uh, get credit recovery. How does a student sign up for summer school? Well, what they would do is first get, a, get an application from their guidance counselor. Uh, they then complete that application. Uh, there is a monetary fee uh, of $115, and for those uh, who are on free and reduced lunch, they can, they can also uh, they, they get a reduced rate of $60 per class, uh, and then uh, they turn that in, and we would set that up with courses. One of the requirements, though, to, to be eligible for summer school is they have to at least have a 60% or uh, between a 60 and 70% in order to uh, be eligible. Um, what we then do is with the grade they receive in summer school, we take that grade plus the grade they received uh, dur during the school year and average two together to come up with their final grade. How, what do the parents need to know about summer school? Well, the parents need to know, number one, that there's a cost. Uh, and number two, that it's, it, it's important because it does uh, allow their child to uh, gain credits that they missed and allow them to uh, per per perhaps take electives in the school year instead of re redoing the whole course again. Uh, also that the students are required to be here uh, during, the, during the sessions. Uh, we have two hour blocks set uh, that the students are to be here working on the Play-Doh program which we utilize for summer school. Uh, some of the students are going to be here for multiple sessions so we would, they, they also, they're able and, and should bring a lunch as well. Thank you so much. That was some great information. And thank you. For more information on summer school, please visit our website. And now for more information on the murals from Don Bador. Hi, I'm Don Bador, and I'm here with um, Rob and Craig to talk about the murals found in Dubois Area High School. Now, what made you start making these murals? Uh, we just wanted to have um, a project that everybody could work collaboratively towards. So we wanted to create a climate in the school that was one that appreciated art. And I think that murals are a really great way of communicating to everybody that walks through the school that we are one that is supportive of the arts. So that was really the motivation behind starting any mural, you know. Um, so that's why. <laughs> Who are some of the people that um, help out with these murals? Um, well, uh, between Miss Gaston, Mr. Craig, and myself, uh, we try and get a lot of murals up. Um, and each of us has our own different um, spin-off on what a mural should be and what it's all about. I've done a lot of the tile murals. Mr. Craig has done a lot of the digital uh, arts murals. And Miss Gaston works a lot towards the ceiling tiles. Uh, we've worked collaboratively between each other, so um, we've done mosaics together. Um, but ultimately, the students come up with the murals. So it's student-designed work. Um, students will come to us with designs, and then we will then take that idea, divide it up, um, and then try to um, allow for every student in our class uh, that's doing it to work towards the goal of finishing one big project. Now, how do you make some of these murals? Where do you get the materials from? Well, a lot of the, especially the tile murals, they're really pricey. Um, and so, how do we get the murals? Um, we, we generally uh, have to do a lot of fundraising for it. And so, most of our fundraising goes um, through the Super Bowl, which is an event in February. It's the last week of February. Um, and it's just a time where people can come together and sit and have a meal. 
And with the Super Bowl, it's kind of in the spirit of murals, where we're all working together collaboratively toward one goal. And that goal would be to just appreciate the arts, you know? And so um, I do feel like um, lately, though, we've been having some struggles with the budget crisis um, coming into play. So this mural behind us has been donated to us by the Student Council, which is really gracious of them. Now, how can a DAHS student get involved in something like this? I would just say, honestly, please just take an art class because I think that it's one of the best experiences in a high school setting. Um, I think that you're going to find that there's a lot of fun conversations to be had and um, it's productive. So it, it makes you feel like you've accomplished something once you're done and that feeling is priceless. For sure. Thank you so much, Robin. Now, um, I'll catch you later, guys. Last show for the year.